What's going on guys, it's your boy Jess, and welcome back for yet another NCAA 49 break match, and today we have the Duke Blue Devils going up, well at least my opponent decided to match up and went with the Oregon Ducks. Uh, really quickly, we have yet another brand new guide on the next gen site, I'm telling you guys, if you guys aren't a member already, you guys are missing out on all these damn good plays and all this stuff, Kilo has a brand new offensive ebook from offensive i know it's weird for to have an offensive ebook because everything that's up there is pretty much defense which is crazy but again no site has more content no site has better players this site is just nasty but kilo has a brand new florida gator guy that came out today on offense link is in the description go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in buying it it's 11.99 just for that guy or if you're already a platinum member you get all the ebooks for free so enjoy it uh, like I said, my opponent decided to match up with the Oregon Ducks, and I know I'm gonna have a tough time because, uh, yeah, we all know that Duke is nowhere near Oregon, and it's gonna be tough. It's not like in Madden where if I had the Browns going up against the Niners, if I know what I'm doing, I, I can survive. Here, it's very difficult winning with a team that's very lower ranked than the uh, than the opposition. It's just tough because. Oh, you'll see throughout the game how frustrating it is playing with the lower ranked team. I pretty much need to play to perfection in order to have a chance because his a his computer assistance of this team is just so much more dominant than mine's. It just makes it that more tougher. But I like that in college it gives it a better um you know, more competition. You know, if I pick the lower ranked team in Madden and went up against the best, I can still win. Here, I can still win, but it makes it more tough. So it's more of a challenge picking the lower ranked team. So I just know that my offensive game has to be pretty much on point. And as usual, my defense is going to be butt, but let's just hope for a mistake or two. And as long as we be able to capitalize on those mistakes, we should be all right. Second to go right here, we're standing in the pocket. Since a fag we end up just taking off with the QB, and we end up getting a, a touchdown with my boy Boone. So it's 7-7. Seven seven. Again, we're back on defense. We know Oregon has such a monstrous devastating offense uh, in order for me to feel like I have a chance I really feel like I need to limit his first down plays and put him in you know second and third and long I can't let this happen I can't let him just gash me up for you know huge first down uh, plays because then it's just gonna make it tough for me on defense third and one he ends up getting a first down and as usual struggle on defense I know I know I'm working on it guys I am right there those are the coverage and I'm sorry son but no soup for you we end up clicking on and picking up the interception Right now, we're like, yes, we get ball at halftime. Maybe we could kill some clock, move down, be able to score, give them little to no time, and be okay, and then get ball back. Right here, we try to throw it up top, try to get a speed advantage. Unfortunately, we don't have one. Third and one, we got somebody open, but he drops it. Fourth and one, we really need this conversion. We're standing in a pocket. The running back is butt naked, and we end up throwing it to him, and we get the first down almost at about midfield. Uh, again, in the pocket, and right now, we're doing a really good job of taking our time, finding wide open routes, and being able to uh, converge on those routes. So third and five right here. Really need these first downs. We're looking. We got somebody open over the middle. And the quarterback just doesn't have the throw power to really just mm, it in there. You know what I mean? I need the Brett Favre. Like he was open. You look at the route. But the ball fluttered in the air for like five seconds before it got to his destination. Like if he had way more, a better quarterback with more throw power would have been able to just execute a vicious bullet and I would have squeezed it in there. Unfortunately, like I said, the ball fluttered up in the air forever and now he has a good opportunity to go ahead and score on me. Fourth and eight, he decides to go for it. He goes out of the backfield to the running back. Uh, he definitely, I mean, he called no huddle and he quick hiked me, wasn't able to get set up. So uh, very frustrating giving up that fourth and eight. Very, very frustrating. Right there, big stop to make it a third and go. Decides to call a run play. We stop another fourth down. Another chance he goes for it, and he converts again. Back-to-back -back fourth down conversions in the same drive, and that's just heartbreaking. That right there really, really, really hurts. And this right here could possibly be a huge difference maker in the game, what it is you're about to see. So uh, right here we go over the middle, and another interception. Again, the receivers are open, but... The quarterback doesn't have the throw power to get it there. Next play. I'm sorry, son, but don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. I noticed he had uh, Thomas in the slot as he did before. Pretty much felt he was going to go to him again, and we ran and we read that. 
uh, right here is what might have changed the game. Look at that huge hit, and he fumbles. I don't know what it is about me, but I fumble more than anybody in the game. I really don't know why. Then he decides to go for it over the top, and he scores a touchdown. So instead of me possibly scoring a field goal or even a touchdown to tie the game, you know, forget that. Let's say we even don't score. We should be going into half 14-7 to minimum. But I felt like I was going to be able to get at least a field goal out of there. I would have been at the 50-yard line. I would have been okay. Unfortunately, I fumbled the ball. He recovers. See, that's the thing that really makes a difference between a low-ranked team and the high-ranked team. Low-ranked team, their carrying is going to be lower. They're going to fumble more. They're going to drop more passes. You know, their, their blocking ain't going to be as good. Their guys are going to be slower. You know, their defense is going to be not as weird. And, you know, a lot of things I got to deal with. But fumbles is something I really can't tolerate. And being able to fumble, you know, passing midfield, being able to, you know, a play away from get, being in field goal territory, giving me an opportunity to take the lead once we go into halftime and not get ball first was really, really frustrating. But nonetheless, we do get the ball, so hopefully we can go ahead and score. Now I know I'm going to need a stop defensively for me to make something happen. And uh, we've already stopped him twice. We forced two interceptions. Maybe we could get another one. You never know. So, uh, you know, it all starts with us scoring right here. Second and seven. We decided to just take off, and we end up getting really close to the end zone, where we do eventually uh, end up scoring. And then we do go for two to make it a three-point game. And then it's going to uh, wind up on our defense. You know, it's really, really important that our defense comes up with another stop. And, again, I know it's not – going to be easy when you have somebody like me who's bad at defense with a bad defensive team so yeah i'm gonna need something to go my way heavily right there it's like we got people in position but we're just not making you know any plays and it's, it's frustrating knowing that like we got people in position you know like he calls a read option i got people around the quarterback but yet he still is able to break free right there just a huge monstrous run he breaks two tackles. I have my tackles, big hits and strips. I'm conservative. That way I can take down that damn annoying ass agility running back that he has. And we're missing tackles. We're not being able to tackle well. And it's, it's frustrating. Right there we go deep up top. Well, not deep, but we go over the top. Uh, he decided to play some bump and run with no over the top help. We beat the press immediately. And uh, that right there was wide open. So... Uh, as you see, I'm really doing well offensively. I have made a couple mistakes, but for the most part, I'm doing really, really well offensively. He's having trouble stopping me, as I'm having trouble stopping him. And these are the battles I'm usually in. You know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth type of game. And it usually depends on if I'm going to force a mistake or am I going to make a mistake and things like that. And for the most part, you know, me being online, I've always been a good 70% winner. So for the most part, I usually... Uh, limit my mistakes and, and uh, do well when my opponent makes mistakes. But as you can see, we're not tackling. We're missing tackles. And I need something. <laughs> I need something to go my way in order for me to have a chance. And hopefully we can make that happen because I know it's doable. You know, I know I'm moving the ball up and down, you know, on his defense. I'm just having trouble defensively, but that's nothing new. You know, my games are usually always like this. Hits me with the read option. We thankfully stopped that this time. Second and 11. He uh, throws right over there to the right, third and six. If we can get a stop here, force a fourth down, that would be huge. But, you know, I have a yellow zone. I also uh, have them uh, two safeties over the top, but for whatever reason, they're nowhere to be found. And that is where the awareness comes into play. The cornerback bit down on the flat on the running back and uh, leaving that route over there wide open. So, again, we got to score and hope, you know, something defensively happens. So, you know, um, it all starts on offense. You know, as long as I'm consistent, hopefully we catch a break. Right there, way overthrown. We had the inside seam open, but it was just completely overthrown. Second and 10, uh, we get a uh, user sacked right there. Nice play by him. Third and 14, we end up picking up the first down, getting close to within the red zone. Step up in the pocket, we end up going to the running back. He makes a nice little couple moves, and he ends up getting to the one-yard line where we do eventually uh, end up scoring, I believe, on a QB sneak, if I'm not mistaken, right there. So back to a three-point game. Back to our defense. Back to see if we can force a mistake. If I get this ball, I really feel like I'm going to have a great chance to win because I really don't feel like he can stop me. Same way I'm sure he's feeling. I'm sure he's feeling I can't stop him either. Another third and six right here. Let's see if we can get to a fourth down. 
I'm over the middle. I'm over the middle holding Ball Hawk when the ball was released. No animation on the door drags. I just don't get anything. Uh, he decides to go over, hit me over the middle. He caught me off guard with the pass this time. I put it down instead of a run. This time, read option. We swallow that up. No homo. Second and 12. Look at this. This broke my heart. He throws over the middle. And, oh, it was right to him. It was directly in his meat hooks. The pet, like, I dropped the controller and I just put my head down and I said, wow. <laughs> I said, wow. That right there hurts. That interception, I believe, possibly could have won us the game. But nonetheless, we haven't lost yet. You know, we still have a chance. You know, uh, a score and onside kick is pretty much our only chance to make something happen but that interception hurt my soul it hurt me it sucked to watch him drop that knowing it was right in his hands first and ten we end up going to the wheel route out of the backfield trying to go out of bounds to save time uh, it, even though it doesn't really matter because a lot of you guys inform me that first down stops the clock during no huddle and things like that so second and one one yard line we decide or third and what? What? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what the. Nothing else we score touchdown. I don't know. Editing mistake, I guess. Uh, we go for the onside kick. Here we don't get it, and we end up losing the game. Um, actually, the score got a lot worse, as you're gonna see, because I'm expecting he's gonna run it. He scored like two more times. I'm throwing the ball up, trying to get miracles. He's passing instead of trying to run the clock out, and he just yeah. But nonetheless, I really lost by three, uh, and we lost. Defense didn't come through. Played a bad defensive game as usual. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy GS. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.